guys, hey, what's happening? Wanted to get on here and share the best time to visit a car dealership. Or, in my opinion, that honestly is a matter of opinion of when the best time to visit a dealership. Honestly, the best time I feel to visit the dealership is when you're ready. In your mind, is when you're ready. What I found in the past, the best time to visit a dealership is that hour before we close or that 45 minutes before we close. If you are actually ready to buy that car, not to get numbers on a car, you can't take delivery at that last minute within that last hour or 45 minutes. The reason is because you don't know how that salesperson day went. You don't know how my day went. You're providing a window of opportunity or you're making my day or you're making my night. Because if you come in an hour before we close, 45 minutes before we close, and you have already done your homework, you have already done your research ahead of time, you were on the lot the night before or the week before, you didn't pick out the vehicle you want, you didn't, you realize it's down to two colors, that red Malibu with those black rims, or that silver Malibu with those black rims. So you have decided on two colors on the Malibu that you want. You have thought about the other colors that you had in the past. You has come down to two. And you realize you went through the lot when you pulled up, we still have those same two cars. And you give me the stock numbers on those cars. And when you come in that last hour, 45 minutes of dealership, you already have the payoff on your car. You have already called your lender institution if you have a payoff, if you owe money on your car. But you have already done your homework. You, you already know how much you owe on that car. So the only thing that you have to do at that time, come in dealership is get payments. You have already done your homework and you said, you know what, I want to go back through my credit union or, you know, my credit union has the best rates or you already know your credit score or if you have problems with your credit, you already got pre-approved. When you come into a dealership that last hour or the 45 minutes again before we close, you've already done your homework. You've already got that payoff on your vehicle. If you already, if you owe money on the car and if you train in a car, you already have the title with you. Or if you don't have the title with you, you already know that you're gonna have to pay for lost title work. And when I say pay for lost title work is, you already know that you can sign lost title paperwork with us so that dealership can go get the title at the Secretary of State or the DMV, Department of Motor Vehicles in other states. Secretary of State in Michigan, we call it. Department of Motor Vehicles in other states, they call it. We charge to go get that title because we have to send a person to the dealership to stand in line to get that title for the vehicle. So again, you already picked out the car. You already know the payoff. You already know where the title is or you have the title. You know how much money you want to put down even if you want to put any money down. You already know the term of the loan that you want to go. And the only thing I have to do is is when you come in and you sit at my desk, is write it up. If you didn't have an appointment and you're coming to the dealership and you're ready, most times it's important for you to make an appointment with that salesperson, but if you don't and you already did your homework and you know what you want, that's the best time. Because you know why it's the best time? Because that salesperson will leave that dealership and know that they have sold the car. Whether you take delivery that night that you arrive at the dealership or you come back and pick it up the next day, that salesperson knows that you're a serious buyer you're ready to buy and you've done your homework. Makes the deal sweeter, especially if you have already built that relationship with that salesperson and you bought cars from that, from that salesperson over the years, or if you were a brand new customer, you will go a long way with that salesperson or that dealership. It's not the best time at the end of the day to go get numbers on a car and want to look at four or five different cars the last hour or 45 minutes before the dealership closes because we're winding down our day. Don't wait to the last minute to kick tires at the last hour or 45 minutes. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.